Hello and welcome to the Village Halls podcast, sponsored by Allied Westminster, the UK's largest specialist provider of village hall insurance and the home of Village Guard. Now, how would you like to win £1,000 for your village hall and £500 for yourself? I'm I'm sure you would. I, I know I would. Today for this special episode, we're launching an exciting new competition with lots of cash prizes. Thanks to our podcast sponsors, Allied Westminster, and I'm delighted to be joined on the phone by their managing director, Gavin Mitchell, who's going to help me explain exactly what's on offer here and what this competition is all about. Hi, Gavin. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hello there, Johnny. Good to speak to you again. Hope you're well. Yeah, good. Thanks, you. Yeah, fine, thanks. Yeah, it's been a strange year, hasn't it? It has, it has. (laughs) (laughs) Now, I'm I'm sure many of you will have come across Allied Westminster's wonderful Villages photo competition before. This year, I'm delighted to say that the Village Halls podcast and Allied Westminster are teaming up to bring that to you once again. So, Gavin, explain the part you're playing, which is primarily about putting up a whole host of fabulous prizes, isn't it? Yes, indeed. Um, I mean, as you know, we we insure thousands of Village Halls across the country, and leaving aside the boring side of insurance, um, one of the things that we did some years ago was to set up a photo competition, which went down extremely well. And we've done that a few times now. And we thought, let's do it this year again. Um, it it yeah. was very warmly received. And, um, you know, it's a great way to celebrate village life, not just about village halls, but just village and rural rural community life. So, yeah, we've, um, yet again, we, we have a, a, range of, uh, a range of prizes, five prizes in all, for photographers and their nominated village halls. So, you know, every time a photographer wins something, their nominated village hall will also uh, win some money. So, as we said, the first prize is £1,000 for the village hall and £500 for the winning photographer. Five prizes in all going down to £50 for the village hall and £25 for the photographer. So... Yeah, I understand that the, the total prize fund's almost three thousand pounds, Gavin. So many thanks for that, first of all, and, and and I imagine that could be a big help to many village halls after everything that everyone's been going through recently. Well, indeed, it's been a traumatic year, and uh, you know everyone's had to try and reinvent themselves and what to do and how they do it. And uh, yeah, it's been a it's been quite a momentous year for for, for us all in so many different ways. Now, for our part here at the Village Halls Podcast, we're going to be kind of running the competition managing the entries through our website and spreading the word in the coming months but both Gavin and I will be judging the photo competition so what we thought was we'd come together today and explain a little bit about what we're looking for in your photos and of course how you can enter and what some of the rules are so Gavin let's let's start with you what's what's the theme for this year's photo competition well the theme this year Johnny is really village life and community spirit and hopefully that's not too prescriptive i think you were a judge previously with us johnny and we were really surprised at some of the entries that come in the, the diversity and and the range of different things so i think it's it's great to leave that up to the photographer and the local community to present us with whatever they want to do within that sort of village life and community spirit framework yeah it's all kind of open to interpretation isn't it which is how how we sort of want it to be what what makes a good photo gavin for you i think what it makes a good photo is a, is a good story something that encapsulates maybe a bit of fun something about the rural community particularly with this competition i think as long as there's a sense that it's about the rural community that that's that to me is quite important but I like photos, and, and certainly from the previous entries that we've had in the past, story, photos that tell a story, photos that are amusing, interesting. But a lot of photos have, have got great stories behind them, and I, th- I think that's what, what makes them most interesting. Yeah, I think you're right. It's something emotional, something something funny, as you say. So, uh, I don't know, like a dog being chased from a butcher's shop yeah. with, a, with a big chunk of meat in its mouth. That would, that would be great. <laughs> now, I don't, <laughs> I don't want anybody going out now and trying to stage that one, though. You know, staged <laughs> stage photos can sometimes look a little bit obvious, can't they? <laughs> so don't be, don't be knocking on your butcher's door and, and trying to get your dog in there, you know, um, we don't want to. We don't want to take the blame for any of that. <laughs> nor, nor do we want any of my team taking insurance claims because of this competition. Because <laughs> <laughs> of stolen meat, yeah, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> I remember, I think it was last year, Matty 
Simpsons photo, which was submitted for Great Salt Geld Village Hall, which I, I remember took yeah. second place. It, it featured a man who was about to catch or was he about to drop an egg as part of some crazy activity <laughs> with uh, the annual sports day. And you could see and really feel the anticipation in yeah. that photo from the crowd and just from the whole moment. And, and I really love that one. And that's 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 a great example. But for me, any any photo that tr- transmits any strong feeling, so not just humor, yeah. but but it could be warmth, it can be togetherness, it could be mystery, it could even be some sadness. You know, that that yeah. kind of thing will always stand out. So all I would say is, say, you know, for, for me and Gavin's sake, make it something inspirational and meaningful as well as something beautiful if you can. And and one of those prizes could be yours, yeah? Absolutely. Absolutely, Johnny. I mean, I think some of the some of the interesting podcasts that have actually come out very recently, and I mentioned the word reinventing uh, earlier on, um, yeah. really uh, some of the things that some of the, the, the villages and the village halls and you know, rural communities have been doing, especially with the lockdown and so on and so forth, you know, and helping with mental health and keeping people occupied and various, various things. They've kind of reinvented their life a little bit in rural communities. And it might be quite nice, as per these podcasts, to perhaps even see that in a, in a photographic sense. Great, mm-hmm. great idea. Let's cover some of the rules. Yeah, you've got to take the photo in the UK, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it has, it's all about, you know, the wonderful villages in the UK. It's got to be... Uh, uh, British based, UK based. That's 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 absolutely crucial. So I, I really don't want to see something from a village in Australia, or South Africa, or Canada. Yeah, yeah. And I'm looking forward to to seeing photographs coming in from all corners of the country, from the Isle of Skye to the home counties and everywhere in between. It'd be great to see some geographical diversity, as indeed is already happening with some of your uh, podcasts, Johnny. And it doesn't have to be a new photo, does it? Where, you know, if you've got something classic lying in your in your catalogue, there you can you can always dig that out as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, indeed, if there's if there's something that somebody's got and they're very proud of it, and it kind of represents the, the general feel of what we're trying to achieve. Yeah, it doesn't have to have been taken this week, this month, this year, whatever. It's just something that that really represents that whole community spirit. Okay, and to and to enter the competition. Um, it's all about heading to a page on our website, which is uh, thevillagehallspodcast.com forward slash photo dash competition. So that's photo hyphen competition. Um, here you'll find more details about the, the competition itself, a link to the rules, and of course an entry form. And don't worry if you can't remember that page, by the way, there's a there's a button from today on our homepage that'll just take you right to it. So just go to thevillagehallspodcast.com. Um one of the things we're doing, Gavin, is trying to accommodate smartphones as well as much as we can this year. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't have to be a, a, a professional DSLR camera or anything like that, does it? No, not at all. Not at all. I mean, everyone takes the photographs nowadays in their, on their smartphones. In fact, some smartphones have incredible capabilities. I've given That's up true. using my camera now, and I just use my smartphone all the time. I've completely given up with the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it, it's not about being it's not about being a, a, a professional photographer. It's it's point click snap. It's all about it's all about what's in the photograph as much as the as much as the artistic merit of the photograph. And to help help with the smartphones as well as the standard and I'm getting technical here, you know, JPEG and dot PNG files is it there's we're we're gonna uh, try and allow web P and H E I F, which are things which yeah Apple iPhone and your Android phone may take as well. So hopefully it'll be nice and smooth for everybody and they'll be able to use their phones as well. And we're happy this year as well to allow as many entries as anyone wishes as well, Gavin, yeah? Yeah, I think that's important. And and what we've done in the past is we've tried to encourage, for example, village halls to put a notice up on their notice board to to try and get everyone in the village involved so that, you know... The photographer, whoever, whatever member of communities taking of the communities taking the photograph can win some money. But as importantly, the village hall can can win some money, and you know they can all help with the village hall, which is really what it's all about. And um, so, if 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 they put a notice on the village hall notice board, get everyone involved, get everyone involved, and take some photographs. And it doesn't matter how many photographs any individual takes. It doesn't matter how many photographs come from a village or a rural community. Um, you know, the more photos, the better. Uh, yeah. That's kind yeah. of the approach we're taking. 
Brilliant, yeah, and to help with that, if you if you want to promote the competition to your local or, or your regional community, um, there's actually an image on that photo competition page that I mentioned before that you can copy over to your own website if you want. And there's a leaflet on there as well, a kind of flyer, um, which you can download too. And as I say, all that's on the on the competition page on the website. Uh, finally, we'll be putting all accepted entries onto a special gallery page on the Village Halls podcast website as well. And also showing them off on our Instagram page too, uh, as well as Twitter and Facebook using the hashtag Wonderful Villages 2021. So make sure if you can follow us on those two, we'll be announcing the results later in the year on YouTube as well. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And uh, that reminds me as well, the closing date um, that's the 21st of November, isn't Gavin? Which seems like a long way away, but there's a reason for that, isn't there? Oh, absolutely, because we want to get everyone in the community involved. We want to spread the word. We want to give people plenty of time to get sorted out. They may have a photograph, as we said earlier on, in their in their archive or their photo gallery, but they might want to go out and take some nice photographs. So, you know, summer's coming. They might want to... You know, they might already have a few photos in mind, and so- suddenly in summer there's a fantastic day, and they take a great photograph, especially with with the easing of lockdown and more people getting together, yeah. and you know, communities coming together again, and God willing, everything getting back towards normal again. But yeah, it, it allows everyone to 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 tell everyone else about it and submit as many photos as as you like. Yeah, perfect. Well, well, hopefully that's enough for everybody to be getting on with. Uh, that page again to visit is the villagehallspodcast.com forward slash photo hyphen competition. Pay a visit and, and start uploading. We're, we're really looking forward to seeing all of your images. And um, thanks again, Gavin. Does that, does that just about cover everything for you? Yeah, that's fantastic, Johnny. I think let's get the word out. Let's get some photographs in. Let's, let's, get, some, let's get some fun on that website. And let's see what people can do. Uh, people can supply from their villages and let's see what we can do. Yeah. I mean, if you've got any questions, simply drop us an email to info at the village com. And yeah, thanks again for joining me today, Gavin. And, and of course, for all your help from Allied Westminster, um, supporting our podcast. Our pleasure, Johnny. It's great to speak to you again. Thank you. And you can discover more about the service that Gavin and his company provide at villageguard.com. And a, and a quick mention to online booking system provider Hallmaster too. Don't forget they're offering a £10 discount for our listeners for any orders placed at hallmaster.co.uk until the end of June. You can find a discount code on the sponsors page of our website. You've been listening to the Village Halls podcast, a unique listening community for Britain's village, church and community halls and anyone interested in the vital community services they provide. We'll be back again in two weeks' time with another episode. So if you haven't already, please visit thevillagehallspodcast.com to subscribe, sign up for updates, link to our social media pages, and to find out more. Really looking forward to seeing all your photos. And until the next time, goodbye for now.